What's going on guys? This is Busyman123 here and yes, I'm going to call myself Busyman123 cuz I don't like Jericho supporter. I made this account because I was kind of obsessed with Jericho. I like the game a lot and I still like it a lot, but I'm not going to call myself Jericho supporter. It just sounds cheesy. I prefer to call myself Busyman123. So, I got another game of Halo 3 ODST Firefight. I'm playing it on Heroic because I don't always want to play it on Legendary. Sometimes I just want to play it, you know, a little bit more mindless, if you if you would say. And this map, which is called Crater, I like this map, but I don't play it that much on Solo because I hate fighting the sniper, the yeah, the snipe, the jackal snipers. They can be pretty annoying, but I like the map. I just think it's better if you have like one more two more people with you in the lobby but yeah that's pretty much for the game I'm not gonna really talk much about the game it's kind of your standard solo firefight ODST all you gotta do is just you know stick back wait for them to come after you and then you just fight them to survive that's pretty much standard so what I want to talk about is my book I've recently released my book in the beta stage or the beta yeah beta stage whatever and what I did for the beta is that I gave it to three of my friends and they basically read it and they just give me some suggestions so far I got really good feedback some of them gave me really good criticism I actually used some of those critics well most of them um, for my book and so far I have to admit I think it just made it like a lot better and I was also reading the book again in the beta stage and I just felt like a lot of stuff was missing so yeah I did fix a lot of more stuff and I did add more stuff to it and now I just think it's so much better than the beta ver the beta version basically I already I think I already talked some about what I wrote uh, what am I trying to say? I think I already talked some of the information of my book from my last two previous commentaries. Um, it's basically a first-person shooter in a book because it was supposed to be a first-person shooter when I designed it a long time ago, but I didn't have any local developers around my city, so I decided to make it a book because <clears throat> it does got a story to it, and usually when people read books, they want a story, so... I said why not it's not your typical like Harry Potter or what's that one book yeah I'll just use Harry Potter it's not like a 300 page book or 500 page book it's a very short book it's a short story basically I think it's gonna probably be like around 30 pages or 40 pages but I did it I also had a goal in that book I kind of wanted to appeal to people that didn't like to read books but also appeal to people that love to read books so yeah I tried to like do something like that basically I wanted to make a kick-ass story with, with very limited pages that's pretty much it okay so on to my yeah I'll just keep talking more about my book so <clears throat> when I was reading the beta version I just noticed there wasn't enough emotion, there wasn't enough atmosphere into the book, and emotion is really important in this, bu in this book. It's supposed to portray, like, the sadness of the main character and, this, and the sadness of war, but I felt like that was very lacking in the beta version, and the atmosphere, I wanted the atmosphere to be very dark because it takes place in a dystopian setting so a lot of pain a lot of misery a lot of suffering so I try to you know write something that could paint that well when you read it and I think it's a lot better than what I did last time not only that I also cleared out a lot more things in my book like if I gave you this part of information you're probably gonna ask yourself oh what does this thing is supposed to do so I pretty much added some of those information to resolve those issues so you won't have any confusions or any like oh what the hell how does this work this type of stuff so I'm glad I did that now, now I don't have to worry about that but I still got a lot of stuff to work on 
Basically, I'm, I keep reading the book from like page one to page. Actually, I don't know how many pages I have because I write it on the that text thingy. I forgot what it's called, but I just keep reading the book. Um, it's. I just keep reading it constantly from like from like the beginning to the end, and every time I read it, if I get like there's something is missing in the book, then I have to go back and fix something because I do not want that missing feeling in the book and I've been getting some of that lately and I just want to make sure I don't get any of that because if that happens that means something is not polished or something is, yeah basically something's not polished basically when I was making the book I actually tried to make it like a video game but I realized that wouldn't work because I added so many action I added so many firefight sequences basically it just got so repetitive and I realized to myself that when people read books they don't want to like you know watch I mean read a story with 80% you know firefight action and 20% story so I realized that's not a good idea I decided to balance it out 50% action and 50% story so yeah I hope the story comes out well and I do recommend you guys to check it out because I plan on doing this for a living and you know I would love if you guys can buy my work because I'm definitely working my ass off on this book. Tell you the truth, it's ever since I finished this book I actually felt pretty good for myself because I haven't really been feeling any because I haven't really felt any success in my life because high school was boring as shit to me and I didn't feel any like feeling of rewardment or success when I finished high school. I was basically like, oh, cool, I just finished high school, that's great. <laughs> but writing this book, holy shit, man, it felt good to finish it. And I can't wait to, like, you know, polish it out a bit more to make it even more better. So, yeah, that's just some information about my book. I hope you guys enjoy the video and find my book interesting, I hope. And I don't know how long this video is going to last. Yes! I guess I could talk about the game for a while. Let me see what I can talk about. If you ever use the carbine, just go for the head. Don't go for their chest or anything. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, I'd be afraid of if you guys are wondering why I don't use um, headshot weapons, is because I usually prefer like the automatics. That's why I can go for headshots. They're pr they're easy in this game, and the game is almost about to end. Just like 20 more seconds. I gotta think of what I needed to talk about. <laughs> yeah, look at that headshot. I'm not the type of guy that goes for scores. I usually just go for the time limit, and the game is almost over. So. Hope you guys have a good good day, and I will I will see you guys later.